Oh, I just had an absolute mare. Yo, YouTube! Happy New Year! From Bristol, sunny Bristol. And thank Christ for that. How much rain have we had? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. An outrageous amount. Yeah. All those poor buggers flooded out of their houses. Oh, I love a duck. Anyway, out and about, bit chilly. But back out on the bike without a waterproof on, which makes a change. Or it. So, what's the plan this morning? I hear you say. Well, you might be able to see on the handlebars my magic shine. 1200. I want to give that a test in the dark, but obviously it's not dark. But I have a plan. So, I'm going to spin over to the two tunnels over the other side of Bath and give it a go in the tunnels. Can't think of a better place to try it out. So, that's the plan. And off we go and see what else we might be able to see a few flooded rivers. Morning, but we'll see. Main purpose of the ride is to try out the light. Yeah, I've got my raffle flask and a nice hot cup of tea in it. See how that goes. Try that out. And I've got my seal skin socks on, well, albeit it's not going to rain, so all good. Promised. I said I would uh, show you the front light when it got delivered on the back of my last video. So here is the package from Magic Shine, as you can see. Oh, I think this might have come from uh, China. But let's have a look. Box still in a box. Packaging to be fair. Same type of box as the See Me 300. So I've gone for the RM 1200, uh, 1200 lumens. Features 1200 lumens of light output, integrated Type C charging. Creative anti-dazzle light dividing line design. Compact and lightweight. Can be used as a power bank. Highly waterproof. Supreme aluminium alloy housing. Compatible mount and versatile straps. So, let's have a look. Oh. So, same... Same mount as the other one, which is handy, albeit that's got a little Allen key fitting. Another cable to charge things up with. And obviously we've got the torch itself. Ooh. Instructions, straps. Three decent sized straps there, three different sizes, instructions, mount, and then the light. RN has the USB charging point on the back. Tidy. Same fit in as the other one whoa so we have power loads of power let's go and check out the back garden 
So that's the lowest setting. My dad's old bench. Oh no, that's the lowest. That's the next highest. And that's the highest. That's the 1200, I think. Good enough for me to be cycling on the road. So yeah, happy with that. Pretty lightweight. One simple button. And this is this, what do they call it? Split level lens anti-dazzle light dividing line design. So I think that's meant to stop. You've got the light pointing up too high stop dazzling cars or other bikes coming towards you so yeah it's good tidy test it out soon jobs are good one so the answer to wet feet the water going down inside your tights apparently According to some mountain bikers in work, are seal skin waterproof socks. Never knew there was such a thing. So, got myself a pair. Apparently, these are game changers. So, I will be wearing these today, albeit it's not raining today. But, uh, yeah, see how we get on with those over the coming months. I have to say, I've had a flurry of subscribers over Christmas. So we've got short of 200 now. So usual shout outs, William Edwards, the old guy of Win Later, Mark Blackman, Smart Turtle 10, Rob Brandt. And a special shout out to my mate from work, James. AKA Jimmer Hardy, Jim Hardy. Top group. Two lovely angels of daughters. James Dahl Hardy, I should say. Anyway, thank you all for subscribing. Thanks for support. You can join the vids. E bike miles are better than no miles, dudes. I must be doing something right with the channel and the um, amount of subscribers because I got this random <coughs> email from some guy in India trying to get me to sign up to him. A digital marketer looked a bit of a scam to me because I'm not making the most of the tools on YouTube and apparently my SEO count is too low whatever the hell that is but yeah as I've said before I'm not taking it that serious so in the delete box just do what I'm doing first evidence of floodage ah, they've tarmac this bit now which is brilliant this used to be a little boom very sharp right there nice and smooth Sailor River Raven has burst its banks over there. Bloody hell. Never seen that before. Whoa. 
just going to pop down this lane, a little detour, just have a quick look at the river. You get right alongside the Avon down here. Blimey. <laughs> there you are. That is what I call flooded. <sighs> River's over to my right, and that is proper flooded. Hell. Might as well have a quick slurp with the uh, Rafa hot flask. Mmm, perfect. Cup of tea. It's pretty flooded. Just to the right of the cycle path now, look at it. Absolutely flooded, that's a massive field there. Probably make out the narrow boats on the far side, that's the river. Proper flooded that is. Jesus. Floods on the left. Floods on the right. Unbelievable. So much water. Can't see us having a drought this summer. Not with this bloody much, surely. A lot of waterage in the tank. Madman. That'd be cold if he falls in. Jesus. Did you get through? No, it's covered. Oh, is it? Hell, right. Thank you. What's that bugger then? Flooded. So that's put pay to my Magi Shine 1200. Field test today. Bugger. That's a bit of a bummer. There we go, I should have thought about that flooding. Right. Let's have another slurp of tea. Plan B. Let's see where this takes us. Not sure what part of Bath I'm in, but I think I know where I am. Try and swing by the centre and see what the river is like. Cricket pitch is flooded, fast cricket pitch. No play today. Brain stopped play. There's a famous Pulteney Bridge. There is actually a weird view of that. You can't see it.
just heading out of bath now. Gonna go on the Kelston Road. Oh that says us shut. Bloody hell, that must be flooded down in Swimford then. Right, hang a left here. Was gonna go a different route home, but we'll have to go back on the uh, cycle track. Everywhere's flooded in bath. Yeah, boy. Ah. Brake test, brake test. Oh, I just had an absolute mare. Unbelievable. So I stopped on a bridge on the path, take a picture of some flooding, and went to take my gloves off. So I could take the picture and the phone literally just popped out my hands over the side of the bridge straight into the raging torrent. I can't believe it. Like a million in one chance and it's done it. Look to the edge, straight into a flipping massive river flood. Oh shit. And that is like major hassle. Company phone, all the apps, bloody banking. Oh shit. Still, my own fault. Jimmer, what can I say? If you're watching, stop bloody laughing. And equally, don't try and phone me on Monday because fuckers, I got me phone. Oh dear, never mind. Right. Shit happens. So I've obviously stopped to take a picture to get a thumbnail for the video. Oh. So now it's an iPhone fail video. Oh shit, can't believe it. What a pleb. Bloody typical. Oh dear, never mind. Never mind. Accidents happen. <sighs> Here we are, back safe and sound. <sighs> Minus an iPhone. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, I've just been cycled back the last five miles, cussing and blinding myself. But there you are, what can you do? My own fault. Uh, so yeah, that was a bit, a bit of a funny old ride. Uh, started out to do a test on my new light. Well, it all went a bit peak tongue. Still, anyway, hope you enjoyed the ride. Thanks for all your support for those new subscribers. Not the video I anticipated to show you, losing an iPhone, but here you are. See you in the next one. Be careful out there. Cheers.